If you want to get your company to the top of Google searches, then trust Hot Click Marketing. I trust them, and they're sponsoring me for the entire season. Well, as somebody famous once said, a week's a long time in politics, and certainly the 10 days since this game should have been played against West Ham to today, the rearranged game, has been a awful long time. Most 10 days have seen a major development in the story of Manchester City, with UEFA banning the club from the UEFA Champions League for two seasons. Now, City have come out fighting. Only today, Ferran Soriano, the Chief Executive Officer, has been very robust in the way that he's defended Manchester City and said nobody has anything to worry about if you're a City fan, that everything will be proven that City have done nothing wrong. That remains to be proven as we stand here at the moment. But I suspect that tonight at this game, as well as the talking point of maybe Pablo Zabaleta's return to the stadium, maybe for the last time, and of course the visit of West Ham, which is interesting in itself, a big talking point is going to be what happens to City going forward. Are the City fans positive about what will happen next? Will they react very passionately tonight? Are they feeling a bit down? Let's see what City fans are thinking tonight. My reaction to it is, how have they found the source from it? And how do they know for definite what it is? How, how, can, you, how can you ban someone or do something like that before official evidence? Because we can still appeal, yeah? Do you as a City fan think City have done anything wrong? No, I don't. I think they've invested in the club, which every single club in England does. They've done exactly the same. They've you not also know that a lot of fans of other clubs will say, ah, they're getting what they deserve now. Do you, do you get angry when you hear that sort of thing or how do you react to No, that? because you've got other clubs who've done this for years and years and years. who spent big money and spent everything, invested in the club. Now all that's all we've done. And that's it's just what it is, isn't it? So you're quite relaxed about it. Do you think City will win? I think to that, tonight. No, I mean in terms of this case. I think, I think they will do, it, yeah. But then again, though, it's your wafer. Your wafer's never been good with us, have we? So, we'll be booing. <laughs> What has been the reaction uh, in Brazil, where obviously you broadcast to, yeah. to the developments of City in the UEFA Champions League? Well, first everybody was really surprised with the decision. I think nobody was really expecting to 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 have for City to have such a, a harsh ban, uh, a harsh punishment from from UEFA. And now there's a lot of ex speculation in Brazil. Everybody's still really skeptical about uh, Manchester City being banned for two whole seasons. Most people are, are talking about maybe one season uh, or maybe nothing at all, just a fine uh, or a larger fine, maybe a higher fine. But uh, and now there's a lot of this speculation, of course, if the players are going to stay or not, especially Gabriel Jesus, because he's, uh, he's a young player and he he is not always in the starting 11. So maybe for him it would be uh, not a good idea to not play on European competitions, but it's just speculation really. Yeah. Do you think the brand of City worldwide has been damaged by this? Uh, well, it's definitely not positive for the club, but I think we have to wait to see uh, their arguments, uh, what they're going to bring to CAS and finally uh, the, the CAS decisions. So. It's, it's definitely not, not a positive thing, but I think we still have to wait. So the judgment is still to come, really? Yes, I think so. I think the judgment is still to come in terms of City's image. Like all of these scenarios, and there's been various ones played out over the years, um, City have a, an opportunity, of course, to, uh, to put their side across and, and, and to, to try and uh, explain to everybody exactly what's happened here. Um, as it stands, they're out of Europe for two years, as we stand right now. They've got to accept that. I would imagine they're all slowly coming to terms with it. But it will be fascinating to hear what happens from this point onwards and whether or not City are able to uh, to provide the, the mitigating circumstances which might, which might change the outcome a little bit. I don't think it will, but you never know. And uh, look, I think City have done an enormous amount for football in this area. They've poured millions into the community in this area, they've done an awful lot of, uh, of good for the game and I for one certainly wouldn't let what's being said at the moment overshadow a lot of the tremendous work that they've, uh, that they've done for Manchester and, and for football in general but there are rules and regulations and if they've stepped out of line they're going to have to take it on the chin. I personally believe that you know 
it was always going to happen and that they, they were always going to be out to get us, so to speak, in my opinion. Um, it's dust has settled a bit for me now. We're just looking forward and hearing uh, Ferran's interview a bit earlier on. I feel a lot more confident than I did, even though I felt confident anyway. And I trust Ferran, Cheeky, Pep, the players, Caldoun, Sheikh Mansour. I trust, I trust everybody and I trust the word. And, and, I, and I take that word with, with you know, a lot of confidence. And, Do you don't uh, think City have done anything wrong then? Listen, Ian, whether, we, you know, whether they believe we have or we haven't, um, I don't personally believe we've done anything wrong in terms of, um, for example, what they're saying we've done. At the end of the day, them rules are brought in, in my opinion, I'm sure people agree as well, to prevent us from joining the top table. I still believe that to be the case, and I don't believe that we've done anything untoward. We've probably spent money beyond our means, in a sense, but, but I don't believe that it's, you know, I don't believe FFP was brought in for that. FFP was brought in to stop clubs getting in debt. And if FFP was working, teams like Bolton and Bury wouldn't have been in the trouble that they, that, well, that they were in last season. And Bury would still be a club, in my opinion. Does it seem strange seeing uh, Pablo back in the West Ham shirt? Yeah, it's, uh, it's good to see him back. I think he's a legend, especially with his city supporters. And uh, yeah, he's done well for us. And uh, I think he'll get a great reception tonight. Well, he was city through and through, come at the right time. Probably went at the right time, we saw the best of him. Um, and he wore his heart on his sleeve. Absolutely outstanding player, you know, superb. Yeah. I've just watched the interview with Soriano, and I feel a lot calmer after that. If, uh, I think he's, uh, he's put his head on the block tonight. He's, he, he's got a few cards up his sleeve. I think City so, have got a few cards up his sleeve. Um, and I think it'll all come out rosy in the end, you know. So I think we've got enough evidence if you listen to him. Uh, he was very calm, very calculated. Um, and he, he filled me with confidence tonight, listening to his interview. What's the emotion that you have felt since this broke? I mean, obviously a lot of people are upset about UEFA. Um, yeah, um, I mean, not. I don't think anyone likes UEFA. Um, they, they are what they, they are. Um, but yeah, it's like going back to the dark ages when we heard the, you know, the, um, what, what happened last week. I mean, that news come out of the blue. Uh, and yeah, it's been a bad week, bad week at work this week, you know, so. <laughs> Smiling. Yeah, still smiling. It's City in it. We've, we've been through worse, you know. So, or have we? But we, 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 we've uh, we've been there before, should we say? You know. So, yeah. I think it stinks because it's UEFA as as a whole. Um, I don't know from what I whether it's true or not. I've heard that some of these other rich clubs they've got chairman on the UEFA board. So where's the investigation coming from here for them? Now, as far as I'm aware, again. City don't have any executives on the UEFA board, so so are, are they are they coming after us because they don't like the power that the club's got? They're trying to they're, they're trying to null and void. They're trying to null us. As as for the thing of taking the league titles off us, let them let them. If they want if they want to, we'll just go and win more after that. So. We're City, so we'll, we'll win when we want. I think it's a big thing against City. I think everybody's... Because we've been successful and the way we've been successful, I think a lot of people have got a big grudge against us, to be honest with you. I think there's a lot of um, bitterness towards us, to be honest with you. I think they've got the big clubs that... The Real Madrid's, the Barcelona's of this world, the Bayern Munich's of this world, don't like us being successful they don't like the challenge basically and I think that that's why I think everybody's got a grudge against us and they don't like us being successful so you don't believe ultimately this fan will be held in hell no I think I stick by my owners and I stick by the club and I stick by a lot of other clubs that have come with us as well it's happened in the past if you're for Cassie are known, are known to them Cassie come out in the past and actually said the corrupt so I've, I've got absolutely no doubts that we will win this case, just like the rest that have got in the past. It was alright, I thought we should have scored a few more goals, a few chances. Not, not putting out wide enough for me, I think we should have played it a bit wider. Mendy's looking good when we put it wide, I thought maybe... Bernardo's been a bit quiet. Bring it out for Bernardo here on this side. 
Who knows for the second half? Let's have a look. I want to see Zabba on. Definitely want to see Zabba. He's had a bit of a reception warming up, but after that, let's get him on. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I'm always appreciated and special to be back at the Etihad Stadium. You know, lovely to see all the Man City fans, all the people around the club. So it was a very emotional moment. You heard them singing your name when yeah, you came yes. on, didn't you? Yeah, it was good. It was good. Listen, uh, I spent nine years in this magnificent football club. Such a, a great club with nice people and, um, yeah, great memories as well. Nice to see you. Yeah, good to see you. Okay, what you. I did like is the way the crowd absolutely sang his name for about 10 minutes you can see that this guy has been brilliant in his day and the guys here really respect and honour him and so in that respect you know we've had a good one but we've had the, the twilight of his career and he's done a job for us but it's, again it's a West Ham mould just don't let anyone score against you uh, quite pedestrian but three points is three points are you glad that Pablo came on? I was very glad that Pablo came on and be able to say goodbye to him yes were you singing? I was, <laughs> without the rude words. <laughs> After all the mither of that you wear for stuff and I thought since you play well tonight, just come out, build the point, play a nice clean game, 2 0, happy. To me the, the game was all about Pablo, I mean it wasn't the most oh, spectacular yeah. but when he was warming up the fans were Oh yeah, they still love him. He's we just, were singing. He's brilliant, I miss him, I really miss him. I think he's brilliant. What so. is it about Pablo? I mean he's got a personality, know. hasn't he? Yeah, it is, it's his personality and he's just he just gave everything, didn't he, when he was here? He was just fantastic, so um, I'd love him to still be here. <laughs> it was important City won tonight, wasn't Definitely, it? Definitely, That's what I meant yeah, before, yeah, yeah getting it out of the think, system with yeah. all the stuff, you know. Yeah. When's the next? Uh, I think Western. the fans were good as well. I think the fans, because it was one of those games that fans might not have done it, but I think because of the way for stuff, the fans really got involved, didn't they? So it was good, brilliant. So it was just job done, I think. A game like that, wasn't it? Every day set up. Just, I'm just happy to get a clean sheet as well. Put them in the the bar, so broken down, score two goals, take the three points. Sensitive issue to talk about the legal action because I am, I don't know it. I'm not professional in that. I'm not a lawyer. Uh, what we can do is win the games. So we have to wait. And after when the sentence is okay, it's, and after we are going to talk about uh, the situations, but. I just spoke with the club, with my chairman and and and, and my CEO and and I follow them. So I believe in them, so and we're going to do it. A two 0 win, Pablo Zabaleta came on. Didn't do too badly later on in the game. City got the points, got the win, got back onto track again, onto Leicester it goes, and some big cup ties coming up as well. I will of course be at all of those games. Uh, vlogging away as usual so thanks very much for your support thanks for all your nice comments as well on social media uh, and I'll see you at uh, Leicester if you go in there or over in Madrid next week because I'm here I'm there everywhere we were and it's great being a blue always is always will be see you next time a big thank you to the RRG group for their sponsorship of the match day vlog throughout the season so if you're looking for a new car or a used car and you want to deal with somebody you can trust then I can certainly recommend the RRG Group. Thanks very much, guys. Thanks for your support.